we are not scientists we are farmers we need only that part of the science which help us in farming i call it a technological bog down some people go to write a letter on a computer and they get attracted to computer so much they forget the letter we don't want to do that we are farmers we want to use any technology in this world every technology in this world to the benefit of a farmer if you look at the farming scenario in india it has not changed much ye aapke protected cultivation this is high tunnel which is very good for certain crops it's very good for strawberry it's very good for blueberry even you don't need to close this this can also be open so blueberry ke liye bahut badhiya hota hai ek hamare punjab ke hi farmer hai he is doing lot of blueberry in uh, australia in high tunnels so this is very good this is naturally ventilated polyhouse hamara faridkot ka polyhouse ye hai naturally ventilated isme apne aap circulation hoti rehti hai air ki hot air goes out and the cool air is sucked in but not good for himachal pradesh because you need the other way round you need to heat up always it is easier to heat any compartment or any area it is difficult to cool this is a normal principle now how many people we are sitting here 16 people everybody is at 36 degree centigrade and the room temperature is 21 so there are 16 heaters which are more than the room temperature so they are all disseminating dissipating that heat so cooling is very difficult water also you need to heat put in a pan put on a gas done you need to cool you need a refrigerator and equipment no equipment is required for heating all equipment is required for cooling so heating is very easy this is our system which we have installed here this is the fan and pad on one side there is a pad on the other side there are fans the fans are at a distance of 8 meter the distance between pad and fan it should not be more than 40 meter and lengthwise it could be 10 km doesn't matter so it should be a 40 meter tunnel can go up to 10 km doesn't matter so the distance between we have kept here 36 meters the distance between fan and pad for it should not be more than 40 40 is a standard this is the component of a fan and pad system this is our freedcoat farm photograph so here you see this is apron every naturally ventilated polyhouse has a 1.2 meter apron this is sealed this is waterproof no water can enter this and this is net up to 4 meter and then this is sheet this is again a net here so this is apron this is a net wall this is the roll curtain we'll show you how the curtains are rolled then this is the gutter height which is 4 meter 4.5 meter depending on the area where you live and this is the top ventilation now what is the use of this apron you know the plants they do photosynthesis during the day so they release oxygen and take carbon dioxide but at the same time they they do respiration also so they use oxygen and release carbon dioxide but during the day time the rate of photosynthesis is much higher than the rate of respiration so the plants are release oxygen more than the carbon dioxide but during night inside the polyhouse the plants will only do respiration so they will release carbon dioxide and we want to capture that carbon dioxide so these curtains are lowered down up to this level and the polyhouse is sealed so the plants will go on respiring and releasing carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is heavier than air so it will come down it will get collected in this apron area 1.2 meter area will be full of carbon dioxide and in the morning when the sun will rise this carbon dioxide will also rise and the concentration of carbon dioxide in the polyhouse will be 9 times higher than the concentration of carbon dioxide outside which is 0.04 ppm normally so the rate of photosynthesis will be 7 to 9 times higher because the rate of photosynthesis is directly proportional to the carbon dioxide concentration so it will be 7 to 9 times higher so the plant will grow more vigorously one month old plant outside you plant and one month old plant inside the polyhouse will be almost one and a half time bigger that's why this apron is used so that is called this management of polyhouse now if you see here what it protects it protects against strong winds all structures polyhouse structures are 
safe up to 180 km per hour. If the wind speed is more than 180 km per hour, then the structure may break. Otherwise, they don't break and they are insured also to that level. So they protect the crop against wind. But you will have to be very careful. Careful in the sense, when the strong winds are there, the curtain will have to be lowered. No roof or no structure fails because of wind pressure. The structures fail because of Bernoulli's principle. Bernoulli's principle because of the lift, as the aircraft lifts. Because of the strong wind blowing over the surface, strong wind blows, the surface goes up. Strong wind blows, surface goes up. So that's how the aircraft goes. So this is the way your structure is blown off. But inside there could be damage to the plants, so you must lower the curtains. That's why these corrugated roofs. These corrugated roofs are to, to break the adherence. That's why there is a spoiler behind the car. So in racing car, there is a spoiler behind the car. That is just to break the adherence. And this is how it works. I'm not an engineer, but the engineer knows better than me. Then it protects against rain. But here I differ. Here I differ with the designers. I never knew it. I'm going to change this design. I did this design because it is required for subsidy. The day our subsidy is released, which is, will be released in a month or so, I will change this design. In India, we get only 70 to 90 rainy days or 100 rainy days. Out of 365, you have 100 rainy days and you have designed your polyus for rain. What is this nonsense? So what I am planning to do is, I will convert this into a net and a rolling sheet above it. And the sheet will be rolled down when there is a rain. Otherwise, why should I heat up unnecessarily? I will show you how we have done on the sides also. On the top also, every dome, half of the dome, we will remove the sheet and put a net. The net will be open all day, night. And if there is a rain, we will pull down the sheet and it will be waterproof. So that kind of here I differ with the design. That's why they copied the design from the, the countries which were, you know, cold countries and bring up, brought it here in India. No scientist has ever tried to understand. First polyuse I will make it, which will be not for rain, but for Indian conditions, but prepared for rainy days also. Hailstorm, very dangerous for any crop, particularly when the fruits are there, when the flowers are there. If there is a hail, it can be 100% damage. So these are quite safe. This is 200 micron thick sheet which is more versatile than the glass even. Glass can break, but the sheet, people can walk on this sheet. So it's a very strong sheet. If it is 200 micron, if it is sometimes they cheat 100 micron, then it's, otherwise it's a 200 micron sheet. Then insect attack, of course it is there because it is, network is there. So insect attacks are very less, almost negligible unless and until you are absolutely careless. If the farmer is absolutely careless, then only there will be insect attack. You need not spray any insecticide. Some of my people say, there are two trees that are eaten. I said, I'm going to find someone who will kill someone. We don't have to spray two trees for two trees. So that, that's spray is only done when there is a massive attack. And massive attack will happen only if the farmer is careless. Low temperature, as I told you, it will act as a glass house, green house or whatever, because Heat can get in, it cannot escape. Frost, of course, again, frost is another form of low temperature where the water freezes.